Fear means something different to everyone. Everyone's scared of something. Spiders, heights, falling, the dark. Maybe it's change. Being an outcast, gaining weight, not being in control, calories, fat, going over, going back to before, losing everything, being full, rice, bread, cake, cookies, peanut butter, cereal. My biggest fear was always food. According to Boston Children's Hospital, fear food is defined as food that makes you feel afraid, anxious, or uncomfortable eating. The fear food may come from irrational thoughts about how it impacts your body or weight or from negative memories of the food. Disordered thoughts can make you feel guilty, ashamed, or even disgusted when you eat that fear food. But a definition is just a definition. It doesn't show the feelings and the hate and the anxiety I felt. It doesn't show my mind being controlled by food every day. It doesn't show the years and memories lost or the hunger suppressed or the battle that was happening inside my body. A fear food could be any food, but usually it's foods that have been deemed unhealthy by diet culture. Foods like bagels, donuts, french fries, ice cream, burgers, but bananas carrots, fruit, and milk can be just as scary. If you don't really know what a fear food is, don't worry, you're not alone. I don't really even know what a fear food is. Oh, that one is oh really good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, saying who knew happiness could fit in a little paper bag. Yeah, that's cute. Mmm. See the pockets of like butter. I've never had a better scone. It's just amazing. Just so much happiness in a bite, in the bag. What is it? I could eat like seven of these. Seven. Y'all going to get six more? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. Damn! Wow! 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 Oh my god. You know how you can't really explain why you're scared of heights or snakes or being alone? It's kind of just a feeling. And you want to avoid that feeling, so you stay away from those things that make you feel that way. Just as someone's afraid of heights usually won't go on a roller coaster, someone who's afraid of foods, well, why would they want to eat those foods? But the thing with food is it's not only what keeps you alive and fuels your body and organs and mind to keep going, it can take away who you are and parts of your life, too. For me, the fear of these foods was stronger than my mind. Because the thing is, I thought I was in control the whole time. Saying no, restricting eating less. I didn't know I was afraid because I thought I was just being strong. Fear foods. It was a feeling of failure. It was weight gain. It was the enemy. It was everything that I tried to avoid, but also everything that I wanted. It took over my mind, my Instagram feeds. I would pretend to eat them when I was eating my salad. You know, it wasn't just food. It was the amount of food. Oh, am I supposed to take the inside out? I thought too much of anything was bad. I controlled my lettuce intake. Only one third of a banana, 10 pieces of goldfish, because that was healthy and nothing else was. Where was my safe place? Hunger. When I was hungry, I knew I was doing something right. I was losing weight. I had enough control not to eat. Hunger was my reward. I craved that hunger. I was proud to deprive my body. Proud to see my body slowly become nothing. I was proud to skip lunch, throw away food. A safe place for me was salad. Plain Greek yogurt, zero calories, fruits, vegetables, and vitamin gummies. Mm. Oh my god. Thank you. Okay. Oh. 
Oh! I want to make you Hello Fresh. You're gonna make me Hello Fresh. <laughs> Most of my fears didn't even make sense. Sometimes I eat two cookies and be okay, and sometimes I eat half an egg and cry myself to sleep. And now I see how fucked up that is. Oh my god! But back then, I had never known what it was like to not be afraid of food. It's so good! <laughs> no! <laughs> Yo, love! Oh, eight grams of protein, that's good. Did you bite the wrapper? Probably ate the wrapper. Sometimes I wish you never told me that you love me. Oh. What would happen if I ate these foods? I'm not kidding when I say I worked out for hours and hours a day. If I wasn't working out, I was thinking about food, planning my next meal, pretending and imagining to eat just three more hours of being hungry, I'd say. That was my entire life. I made lists banning food every time I felt fat or gained weight or saw someone thinner or someone living healthy or eating less. I made these lists telling myself, no, don't live, don't be happy, don't be a failure. Being skinny will make you happy. And that's funny because those lists, these fears, just took me further and further away from any happiness at all. You want the first bite? No, you don't. Oh, it's great. I'm so good. The more you don't face your fears, the scarier they become when you're forced to face them. I was forced against my will to face my fears. And sometimes that's a good thing, even though it doesn't feel good in the moment, but sometimes oh you can't God. take that step by yourself. Holy it shit. was kind of like an eat or die type of situation. Or like an eat or physically be forced type of situation, so. Ah, it's so good. So I think when that happened, I guess that was the first time I realized my life was more important than my Holy food. Shit. And your life is always more important. <laughs> Why do you keep cheersing me? So how did I get over it? I think I did it in a different way than most people. I didn't make fear food lists. I didn't tell myself I'd face one fear a day. One day I just realized I couldn't so keep exciting. fighting my body anymore. I didn't want to live a life starving and restricting and watching people eat instead of eating because I was losing time. Focusing on losing weight and every calorie. It's so good. We're not even saying anything. It's just making you know it's good. And I guess I just didn't want to lose any more time. And slowly I started to allow myself to be hungry and then eat. I accepted that I needed to gain weight and I needed to feed my body and I needed to eat. And even when I was physically healthy and my body was physically strong, I still needed to eat. After I ate and ate for months and saw that food didn't hurt me, I realized I didn't have to hate my body if I didn't want to. I could eat and be happy and love my life if I chose to. I let myself indulge. I gave my body everything it wanted. If that was 10 donuts, yep, I had those donuts. I didn't have to be scared of food anymore. But eating them once or twice didn't mean I was magically okay. I had to take it one step at a time to fix my health, to learn how to fuel my body, and to learn how to listen to my body because I never had before. And that involved, yes, eating more, but also taking vitamins and supplements that I needed at the time. And doing that is still part of my daily routine. I think this is the perfect time to thank Kara for partnering with me for this video. Kara makes it easy to get the right vitamins, supplements, and protein for your needs. I've been using Kara for months now, and not only is it so easy because it comes in little packs that you just take every day, but I love how they're super transparent about their research and sourcing behind their products. The personalized daily packs are made with eco-friendly compostable film that you can find more information on how to compost at takecareof.com slash p slash eco. All you have to do to find the right vitamins and supplements for you is take a short five minute quiz and answer easy questions about your diet, lifestyle, and health needs to address your specific wellness goals. For me, I've recently been struggling with managing my stress and getting enough sleep, you know, the typical college student, so Carev has given me rhodiola to help with my stress. This holiday season is stressful. It looks a little bit different, but that doesn't mean we stop taking care of ourselves. So for me, decreasing my workload, taking time off to spend with family, going on walks, doing a face mask, sleeping earlier, and taking my vitamins are just a few things I'm doing to take care of myself. And I just want to remind you guys to always take care of yourselves too. So take the quiz using the link below to see what vitamins and supplements care of recommends for you and get 50% off your first order with my promo code Linda Sun. And remember, take care of yourself. I chose to fully participate in the human experience. Part of living a full life is allowing yourself to eat the delicious foods you enjoy. I want to eat Christmas cookies with my family, go out on late McDonald's runs, enjoy chocolate every day, and share stories and memories with friends at dinner. Food not only nourishes your body, but it has the ability to nourish your soul. My body will burn this energy, needs this energy, and I had to learn about how the body actually works. Definitely should have gotten sugar. Your body is built to use food as fuel to survive. My heart, my brain, my muscles need this food. So from a physical and biological point, you need food to live, but healing my body was the easy part. 
the next few years were about healing my mind. I think we had a whole bag. All foods belong in my life. You know, that ice cream is not going to change my weight or my worth or my body. Oh my my mind and my thoughts had to be rewired. I had to reconvince my mind that what I believed and what I was being told by diet culture wasn't real, that my anxiety, my fear was lying to me. And I had to convince my mind that my weight and the shape of my body and the size of my legs was not the most important thing about my life. I had to challenge my mind and I had to continue to do that whenever my mind said no. I had to ask myself why I'm saying no and what I'm afraid of and then I have to make my body say yes instead. You know, when you're debating whether or not to give up, this is the moment where your thoughts and those voices and your fear are the most powerful and sometimes you just have to learn to be stronger than them. The thing is, you see, you feel like no one understands. No one knows why I need to know the restaurant a day in advance so I can check out the calories and pick my meals. No one understands why I can't eat after 8 p.m. No one understands why I had to work out before breakfast or why I would lose weight when I went on a trip because I'd be too scared to eat. Ready? Yes. Or why I'd skip lunch. No one understands the panic I would feel when I had to eat something unplanned, when I had to choose a dessert. The pain I feel when people talk or joke about restricting in calories and being fat and eating disorders because that was me. Why don't you just eat? Why don't you just gain some weight? Why can't you just enjoy food? Why can't you just suck it up? No one knows that behind the laughs and the smiles and the good grades and the love for fitness that this is what was actually going on in my head. Every now and then, the past comes back and all the thoughts and numbers and no, don't eat this, don't do this, and all the no's, they come back. The thing no one understands is that after years and years of getting better and stronger and fighting and recovering and eating and facing my fears, yeah, I'm better. I'm free from all that, but I still don't know who I am or really understand that part of me, but I've also learned to be okay with not really knowing. We're going to go get a bagel! Do you not want to go get a bagel? Are you scared of bagels? It's okay, lots of people are scared of bagels. Not us, not today. I was stuck for most of my life. I'm gonna be completely honest, I had no balance. I was so out of touch with my cravings and my body. I didn't know how to eat. I didn't know hunger or fullness. And you know, just because you gain the weight back, if you eat your fear foods, if you look recovered, it doesn't make you feel recovered. Just because you make videos and show the world you eating and exercising and talk the way I do about food and self-acceptance, it doesn't mean I have a good relationship with food every day. It doesn't mean it was easy and it doesn't mean it's easy now. Oh my god. Mmm. Eggles are so good. I'm still scared. I get anxiety. I regret eating. I feel guilty, but I don't let that guilt take over me anymore. I still look at pictures and think about losing weight and compare myself to my old body, other girls' bodies, but I could be what I should be. And then I remember how much I love food. How much food has helped me grow and how it's made me stronger and helped me work out and fuel me to do amazing things and how it's kept me alive. I think of all the memories I've made and all the life I've lived and all the places I've gone and the meals I've enjoyed and how food has saved me so many times from bad days, from those times of the month, from awkward situations. Overcoming this fear of food has shown me that I can overcome any fear, any doubt, any battle because this battle was the hardest years of my life. It wasn't easy but, you know, nothing that is worth it is ever easy. <laughs> Oh no, he's actually gonna pee on you. Let's see. Oh, <gasps> mummy. And then this is like a witch's cauldron. Blood and glass. We were basketball stars. We played basketball. We won every single game. It was like 100 to 0. <laughs> so good. You have to choose because you're controlling my day. Lily, Caroline, Sydney Cummings, Pamela. Mm -hmm. If you're heading for the coast, <sighs> Lily just kill me. I kill. Okay. What is it? Why is there so much egg? Cheese. Cheese and jam. I'm kinda nervous. Why is there so much egg? I'm kinda nervous. Mmm. What's this one? Ooh. Oh my god. There's a ladybug. There's a ladybug. Oh no. What the fuck? Ew, ew, ew. I'm hungry. What should I eat as a snack? Quarter? Oh, I'm hungry. Thank you. I have more. 
It's Drew with something. Oh my god, I love international cuisine. What is that? Oh my god, it looks like crazy. A coconut cake. I get a lot of freaking people. <laughs> Do you know someone who says that? It's actually good. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, I don't have a formula to tell you how not to be afraid. I don't have the secret recipe for healthy living and how to enjoy food. I can't really tell you that one day you're never going to be afraid again because that may not be true. How is it? Really good? Yeah. Oh, it's really good. Mmm. Oh wow, it's a really good sauce. Mmm. I think this is the best pasta I've yeah. ever had. In your entire life? Yeah. I think at least in my life, I just learned to keep fighting against all the things that get in my way and one day that fight gets easier and that's something I can't promise you. The greatest fear of all, milk, strawberries, and ice cream. We don't have vanilla ice cream so we're eating the bark off of this ice cream. <laughs> it smells Weird texture. I think it's the taste that's off. At least we tried it. It's all that matters. While these fears are not who I am, they have helped me become the person I am today. And I love this part of me because it shows me my strength. It shows me my body is strong and will fight for me, but it's not invincible. But if I put my mind to it, I can live as a me and not as that voice. Mm. You did a good job. Mm. Mm. Good night, guys. Part of me has given me a perspective that not everyone has. It's led me to make these videos, it's led me to not be afraid of failure and know that this, whatever this is, no matter how bad or how stuck I feel, it will also pass. This part of me has encouraged me to live life fully. I'm scared. Wait, tell me when to start filming. Three? It's gonna be more than three seconds. Hit two, I'll go. No. Hit two, I'll go. No. Oh my gosh. 
Where am I now? I'm here. And here means a lot of things to me. Being here means I'm free. Free to make lasting relationships with friends and family. Being here means I can eat spontaneously and can enjoy those moments. Here means downing a pint of ice cream because I feel like it and knowing it's not going to be the end of the world. Here means still fighting against myself sometimes but always choosing me. Here means losing that fight sometimes but not accepting defeat. I won. I chose me. I choose life. And I will keep choosing life. Do you need more drink? Do you need more drink? <laughs> so good. You ate it all? All good, of it. Good. Oh, I would start my friend. <laughs> You're not my friend. Mm -hmm. You're my school mate. Go! My school mate. My school mate. Everyone is scared of something. But don't live in fear. You only have one life, just one, so just live. It's okay to be afraid, to not always be strong, to lose some battles, but don't live in that fear because then you lose and miss out on so much life. Wherever you are and whatever you're going through, life isn't always pretty. Nothing makes sense sometimes, but one day it will. It will. You can and you will. It won't be easy, but it'll be worth it. The ice creams, the sunsets, the smiles, the late night drives, the friendships and stories you'll make, the delicious foods and powerful workouts and the strength you will build and the life you will live will be worth it. And I can say from experience, you will cry and hate yourself. And some days, it won't feel worth it. But all the other days, it really is. This apple crisp is like 70% crisp. I know, that's how Which is, true. yeah, exactly. <laughs> You had a big dinner, but I can still have ice cream. I yeah. told you. It is so good. Mm -hmm. <sighs> if you're still watching, I just wanted to say thank you for listening. These are the thoughts that I have buried so deep in my mind that I hoped one day, maybe, they'd disappear. And that would mean this part of my life would disappear too. This is a part of me that I've never wanted to show anyone before. A part of me that I have fought against for what feels like my whole freaking life. I've always been too scared that no one would understand or listen or care, that people would see me differently or that I wouldn't be able to find the right words to say. I'm not an expert, and I still don't really know this part of me. I don't really know how to explain what I went through. I've never known how to accept this part of me. But you guys have given me a chance to find this part of me again, and learn from it, and accept it. You guys accepting me for who I am has helped me learn to accept myself, fight for myself, and believe in myself. I no longer have to feel ashamed of who I am because I'm proud of everything I am. Because it's led me to today. To be able to finally share my story and to be able to finally understand my purpose. So, thank you.